us about so, um, the setting of the, like everything, the costumes and everything, we were using naturalism because it's like modern 2016 everyday look. And then like they wanted to do like hippie style, so we put a little hippie. Um, Nick has a southern style because he's from South Carolina. And then Ruby, she used to be athletic, but now she's a retired aunt. And like, she's just old, but she like wears, um, she wears hippie skirts. Like, cause she's peaceful and she's old. Mm -hmm. And then Ruby was, at, oh wait, I said that right. And then Amber, she's from New York, so she has like a boho chic type of style with like a little bit of edge. That's why we added leather and then she has these boots with leather on them. And then Nicole is an older mother. She's just she's a hippie too so she wears hippie. And then this is for Amber because like it's sort of like a leather jacket with a dress and then like, with a watch too so it's like New York. And then if on movie she was going out I would put this because she likes skirts. Cool. Excellent. Great. Brian. Do, oh, do we need to turn the... Yeah, but what I was going to say is... Um, I only have three slides. They're just pictures. Um, but I was going to do much more with it. Um, but I really want to do was add some... Um, what was it? Like some elements to the, um, to the play. Plus... They didn't seem to make the, the cut. What I wanted to do was um, add some like paper tissue colors to make the same like um, like leaves in the in the ground, you know. Um, and I was gonna add some like balloons too to um, to sh showcase more creativity. Um, they're very um, swirly type balloons um, that kind of have the elements of like um, like fall. Um, oh, I wanted to do some. I wanted to use construction paper also as. Red construction paper um, that would represent a car. Um, yeah, I actually have some of these things with me. Um, is that a design? Like no, where it says set design? What is that? Oh no, I'm sorry. That's not. It's this here. I'm sorry. So what is uh, what is that? That is like um that'll be the role, the role that they're going to um meet their parents. Yeah. Um and the second part is the house. Um, so this is um I could have done more, but you know. And this is like the inside of the car. I specifically chose these pictures. I mean, I have some of the stuff here I can show you. So I curious. also wanted to add exposition to it. So I wanted to add like a picture frame to it. Like, maybe do something. So like, you know, from your, from your perspective, like, you know, what is the role of the set designer? Like, right, what do they do? What does a set designer a do? Yeah, right, it helps tell the story. So what kind of, like, I think these three um, slides absolutely help tell the story. I didn't really know where to go about, because um, unfortunately I did this last minute, which I, um, something I have to work on. Okay. Um, did you do uh, the, uh, the, the plot, the, um, you know, the, 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 oh gosh, I'm like, I can't think of the word. Uh, that was on your handout for your, um, you know, how it shows where everything, you know, where all the set pieces are on stage. 
the kind of birds I view. Okay. All right, cool. Um, awesome. All right, are you guys ready? Oh, you want the director? Yeah. Well, I just like, as soon as the director's done talking, then uh, we'll get going. Cool. Can you just turn that overhead off for us, Brian? See the button to the left behind the computer? Yeah, just press off. Yeah. So first, the yeah. so first, uh, Brandon's going to talk about uh, the play. Tell us a little bit about it. All right, my name is Brandon Vargas. Um, the play is called Men Need Love Too. Uh, Maya is actually the, the writer to this play. I'm the director. Mm -hmm. This play is going to probe your mind. It's going to pick at your brain a little bit. It sheds light on an issue that no one really thinks about. Usually people assume like men should be the ones to do certain things and women should be treated to a certain degree, but this play is gonna make you think about the other side. Or like, you know, what if, or what should, what, what should we all really be doing? Not just men, not just women. So, Let's begin. Home sweet home. You ready? Can you slow down for a bit? I mean, I, I'm trying to impress your family, and I don't want to mess up. What are we going to do? Oh, fine. My mom's a retired nurse, and my aunt's a college professor. She likes basketball and football. On the weekend, she likes to go fishing, take her anywhere near a street sale, forget it, your whole day's over. And my mom's pretty simple. She likes to volunteer, throw fundraisers, but get on her bad side and she will tow your car because she's head of the HOA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. but mom, nurse, HOA, aunt, college, golf, sales? No golf, just basketball and football. I think I need five minutes. I'm going back to the car. Oh. Dina? Oh my goodness. We're finally here, and I can't wait for my family to send him packing. Yeah, he seems to be a good guy, but I don't like him the way he likes me. This isn't about me or my so-called trust issues. This is about me not wanting to be smothered by some idiot. No, Dina, I don't care. Fuck off, some friend you are. Let's go in. I mean, I don't want to brag, but I also played football until I uh, broke my ribs at the age of 17. <laughs> but all in all, like, that's pretty much it. Wow. You're a good man with three sisters' worth of experience? 
oh, you shouldn't have stopped at one injury. I broke my arm, my toe, my shoulder. Uh, even though I've had so many injuries, I still think I could take you on. <laughs> <laughs> all due respect, man. I'm, I was the best in all of high schools in South Carolina. Well, I'm going to have to take you up on that one. <laughs> well, it's getting late. I know you guys are tired. So we'll see you in the morning. I can't believe this. He was never disrespectful. 
they actually liked him. I wish I gave him a better chance in the beginning. I thought because he, was, he wasn't tall, dark, and handsome, I couldn't actually fall for him. I feel so bad. In one weekend, I caught more feelings than in our four months of dating. I can't wait to start this over for real. You were right, Dina. I'm sorry. Thanks, love. Wow, you made it two whole days in the Riley house. I'm impressed. Sorry. Bad breath. Oh, okay. Let's go. Are you okay? Oh, now you're concerned? You wasn't concerned when you threw your mother at me. I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Oh, don't give me that tone. Shit. I heard you talking to Nina about me. Not to mention... Like, why? Like, I did everything for you, and next thing you know, you just lied to me? I, I, know, I know your mom was right. I'm a joke. I ain't no dumb joke. I'm really sorry. I do this when things are good. And I, 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 cause I don't know where we stand. I, I bring people to my family's house, so cause I know that my parents will scare them away. So I just, I, I don't know. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I was just scared. How can I forgive you? After everything I did for you, you, you do this, and even when I call you, you say you have other plans and. I don't bother you then. You don't know this, but men need love too. I'm really sorry. Can you please just give me one more chance to make things right? Please? It's already over. Please don't Forget go. What you want. Please don't go. Please don't go. <laughs> you were a great man, but I fucked it up. And see. Yay!